Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richard Cooking's four ingredient baked cheesecake. You could make this a totally low carb cheesecake by substituting the sugar for some stevia or some other sort of sugar substitute. I personally can't stand the taste of that and so I'm going to be using some caster sugar. So there's three quarters of a cup of caster sugar there, three eggs and 500 grams of cream cheese with some pure vanilla extract. That's it. We've got a 20 centimeter or eight inch silicon pie plate that we have generously greased with butter. And we're gonna put that into what I call a water bath. Oh, well, a lot of people call it a water bath. A pan, sit the silicon pan inside that. You could use a spring form cake pan if you like, but you're gonna have to line the outside of it with foil or pop it into an oven bag so that it doesn't actually leak. And we're gonna fill this up with boiled water. Kettle's already boiled, we're already onto that. Now, to our mixing bowl we are just going to add our room temperature don't even try to do this without room temperature cream cheese because it just won't work it'll be all lumpy and cruddy and you'll never get it to work so we're just going to open this up and tip it out into our bowl probably easier to do this when it is actually quite hard not room temperature so it doesn't stick <laughs> packet number two and now, good splash of our pure vanilla extract. Don't use the vanilla essence, it's really quite ordinary. If you use vanilla pods or vanilla bean paste in this, you are going to have the little seeds sink to the bottom and it's gonna look like pepper or dirt. So you might want to either use a clear vanilla or some extract which has not got any seeds in it. Uh, a couple of teaspoons of that, one or two, it's up to you. This is the vanilla bean paste I was telling you about. It's really, do you see those little black like fly specks around there. Not a good look in a white cheesecake. Okay, sugar, here we go. And we're just gonna mix that until it's well combined. Ideally, we'd like to dissolve that sugar, but we don't want to incorporate too much air in this because the air is gonna expand and make bubbles and that's, you know, you need a dense cheesecake, not a sponge cake. So that's where we're up to now. Into our stand mixer until that is well combined and soft and creamy. Just on medium speed, medium low speed. For a couple of minutes. Okay, that was about a minute and a half, really. Okay, we're gonna scrape down the sides here, make sure that the vanilla is all well incorporated throughout our mix and not just hanging out in the bottom. And we're gonna throw in three eggs. Don't worry about putting them in one at a time. Why would you do that? You're gonna mix it all together anyway. And we're gonna mix that until it is well combined. You might need a couple of spatulas here. It's really quite gloopy. <laughs> preheated our oven to 170 degrees celsius and we're just going to just mix this until it's just mixed in okay we are now thoroughly mixed so we're just going to scrape down the sides one more time and make sure everybody's all mixed up and everything's off the bottom we don't want any little unusual colored lumps or bumps or anything because that's going to reflect in the finished cheesecake so scrape down the sides this blade has actually got a silicon blade wiper on it i don't know what you call it it's like a windscreen wiper for mixing bowls <laughs> <laughs> and it scrapes, it does a pretty good job of cleaning the bowl itself. But because I want to show you how to do it properly, I'm going to take that extra step of scraping down the sides one more time and then giving another final little minute mix. Okay, that has literally taken just a few minutes to do. So just scrape down the blade one more time and then we're gonna tip it into our prepared cake pan. Oven's already come to temperature and we've already boiled our kettle. We're going to cook it in our water bath for an hour and then leave it in the oven to cool. Then we need to chill it, completely chill it before we try and cut it because it needs to actually set. So if you can make this in the morning, it'll be ready to eat that night for dessert or you could make it in the night time for the following day. Okay, let's see what you've got here. It's really quite creamy. Ooh, look at that, yummo. Just pour it straight into our pan. Tap out any air bubbles just by dropping it gently on the bench, not from any height because it'll end up splopping out at you. And while it's probably quite good for your complexion and you don't want it on your glasses or on your hair. <laughs> okay, you want all of that lusciousness in there and tap, tap, tap. Radio, water around there, into the oven we go. Okay, boiling water, it'll come about oh, halfway up the side and into the oven for an hour. Okay, after an hour, this is what you should have. We're just gonna take it out of our little water bath. 
beautifully colored not cracked at all just a little bit wiggly jiggly in the center and it is released from the side of that silicon pan now we have to chill this completely to make it firmer and then we're going to just serve it with gee i don't know some fresh stewed peaches or some berries anything you like four ingredients one hour a couple of minutes to make it tell me that isn't easy thanks for watching okay our cheesecake has been chilling in the fridge overnight you can see that it's completely come away from the sides we're just going to turn it out onto our plate you don't need to use a spring form pan for this because it doesn't have a, a biscuit base on it and we're just going to lift that off and try and position it in the center of our plate mm, give or take okay that's not too shabby and now we're just going to get some blueberries and just pop them in the center mound them up a little bit and get some powdered sugar or icing sugar and just dust it over the top now you don't need too much of that and serve it straight away now how pretty does that look not even a teaspoon of icing sugar there i know you want to see what it looks like inside and i'm about to show you now the next time you consider reaching for a frozen cheesecake in the freezer compartment of your local supermarket i want you to consider how simple and easy and economical this version is now in between slices we're going to just wipe our knife with a hot cloth and that's going to keep the top of our cheesecake nice and neat so just get a damp hot cloth wipe your knife off and that'll make it nice and clean and our next slice is going to be without damage to the surface of our cheesecake now go, don't go seesawing and backwards and forwards you just want to draw it straight through wipe your cloth again and lift the cheesecake out and see how moist and dense that is grab a couple of our blueberries and just decorate so everybody gets the benefit of having a little berry or two and you could use some raspberry or strawberry syrup on that as well i hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of cheeky richer cookings four ingredient cheesecake if you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richer cooking channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we've got so much more to show you when we're uploading lots of videos and thank you very much for watching have a great day okay we're gonna have a little taste shall we look how moist and dense that is Mm. so soft and tender if you want to make this totally low carb use a sugar replacement if you're happy enough to have it with a bit of sugar in it this is just enough to make it absolutely delicious the tartness of those berries <laughs> it's really mouth-watering creamy soft smooth decadently rich quite economical you probably get about 10 serves out of that thanks for watching